Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a what is in mine in the baby's hospital bag. I am 39 weeks pregnant. I hope I go into labor today. <laughs> if not today, soon. I finally got my bags together for our hospital stay. I just did this the other day, so I waited very last minute. If you are new here, my name is Olivia. I am 23 years old and I'm about to give birth to my third baby girl. So I'm going to be showing you what I'm bringing for my third baby. I've definitely learned and experienced some things with my first was so overboard, but with my second, I kind of realized what was actually needed and what was not needed. And now with my third, I'm just like, okay, threw some stuff in a bag and I'm like, all right, let's go. I bought this big duffel from Target a few years back, actually when I was going to pack my hospital bag for Hazel back in 2019. This was like the perfect bag. I use this bag for everything now, like when we go on trips. So I'm gonna name off stuff that I don't have right now in the bag or I don't have with me that I'm gonna be bringing. So I'm gonna bring my favorite pillow my white decorative pillow. It's such a comfort item for me. I've had it for each of my kids' delivery and postpartum, and I've used it for breastfeeding, and it's just like the best pillow ever. I think it's very important to bring your own pillow and blanket so that you're as comfortable as you can be because the hospital stuff is not comfortable. So if you want to have max comfort, bring your own stuff like that to be nice and comfy. Yes, those things can get bloody. I've actually never had my blanket or pillow get bloody, but they can also be washed. <laughs> the pillow I bring is white, so it can be bleached. And then the blanket, I don't really care as much, you know, it's just a blanket. I'm going to bring a garbage bag, a big garbage bag. I bring a garbage bag or a couple anytime we go on any trip because it's just easy to throw all the dirty stuff into the garbage bag, tie it up and throw it in the car. When you're done, then when you get home, pop it right in the washing machine. I will bring deodorant. I don't have that packed. That'll be last minute. Chapstick is essential. Face wash and cream, last minute. I need to get a bag and put some Q-tips, ponytail scrunchies, bobby pins, headband, and a brush just so I can take care of my hair needs. Whatever I want to do with my hair, I'll be able to do it. I doubt I'm going to do anything to it other than put it up or maybe put it in braids but it'll be nice to have a bobby pin or a headband if I do want that. And then also my vitamins, which is a prenatal iron and magnesium. And then I'm gonna bring my Freedom Mom water squirt thingy because it's supposedly better than the one the hospital gives you. And then I'm also gonna be bringing my large space memory card so that I can be able to record for memories as much as I need and take pictures, my camera and my chargers, and then also my phone charger so those are things that I do not have in the bag but I will grab those things whenever I do go into labor so the first thing I'm just gonna show they're not packed away because I wear these around the house but slippers or slides or non-slip socks very important for the hospital you don't want to be walking around barefoot on the nasty hospital floor especially if you're getting in and out of the bed so I just decided to go with slides this time and I like these because these are easily washable. They're just like a rubber. So whenever we get home, I can easily clean them and then feel safe and comfortable, you know, using these around the house. I use these as my slippers right now, even though they're not, they're slides. I just prefer these because my feet get way too hot with slippers. Birthing robe, my sister Emily actually lended this to me. This is what she gave birth in. <laughs> so I will be giving birth in it as well. It is the Kindred Bravely robe. It's very nice and stretchy. And I guess with these robes, they make them so that they're easy for the nurses to get into and you know put any of the monitors on or run IVs. It's all Velcro going down the front and the back. So if you have an epidural, you know, you don't have to worry about any of that. It doesn't get in the way of anything that the nurses would need to do any less than a regular hospital gown. These are just a lot more comfier. I do not like hospital gowns. Obviously, I don't know anyone who does like them. They are not comfortable. They feel like cardboard on your skin. So I'm really excited to use this. I never wanted to go and spend the money on one, but since my sister had it, she offered 
for me to use it for this birth. So I'm excited to be hopefully a little bit more comfier during labor in that. I also got this robe new off of Amazon. So I just get really hot. I don't like really warm plush robes. I just get way too hot, especially being pregnant and especially like postpartum breastfeeding. I get so hot and I sweat so much. So I got this really nice, thin, lightweight cotton robe off of Amazon. It's super long. Love the material, very stretchy, very lightweight, very cooling, it's perfect for me. And I really love that the back, the straps are sewn in. So the straps never come loose, you'll never lose them. I think I got this on sale for like $24 on Amazon. It was a specific color. The rest of the colors I think were like 35 and they had a ton of different colors on there. So I will be sure to link this. From what I remember and what I've done in my own experience after each of my labors, and you know, postpartum being at the hospital is that I've basically just been in underwear, a nursing bra, and a robe. One thing I never did and I regret and I wish I knew, I don't know why this never clicked in my head, but the postpartum cramps, especially when breastfeeding, are the absolute worst in my opinion. They are worse than labor. I know so many people say that. They're just god awful for me. And I hear that with every baby, they get worse and get more severe, which is very scary. That's one of the things I'm like scared of and I'm not looking forward to. Out of all the things I could be scared of, postpartum cramps, I am terrified of because of how bad they are. Like they were so bad. I remember with Hazel, I would sweat and shake from how bad they were when I was nursing her and I would just be like, can you please be done? Because especially when they're nursing, it's like the stimulation that's Obviously your uterus is contracting and trying to get smaller. And when you nurse, it intensifies. Oh my gosh, I'm just like cringing thinking about it. They give you like those pop heating packs that only stay warm for like 20 minutes. Or I remember with Hazel, they had like this machine that kept this pad hot, but it wasn't hot at all. It was like 70 degree water and it was not enough to combat those cramps. So you bet I'm bringing a heating pad that can get very, very hot to the hospital so that hopefully it can help with those cramps. I'm bringing some of my reusable cotton nursing pads. I get these off of Amazon. I have so many of these. They're actually pretty affordable and I just prefer these over disposable. Disposables bother me. They're very itchy and just very uncomfortable. They're also just a huge waste. So these are better. They're way more comfier. I can just wash them as needed. But just in case I do need some brush pads, I am just bringing a couple of these cotton ones. Toothbrushes for Patrick and I. These are just brand new ones that I bought from Target. They're like 99 cents. And then I got this neat little toiletry pack on Amazon. Normally I get this stuff from Target, but Target did not have any of this available. So super smart idea to just buy the reusable bottles, put your own shampoo, conditioner, body wash, whatever your preference is, put it in there and you can clean these out when you're done and just reuse them. So I got this one off of Amazon. I'll have it linked, it was very inexpensive. It came with four of these silicone bottles. These are really nice and it also came with labels to label them. So I have shampoo, body wash, body lotion and conditioner which body lotion or hand cream or something like that is also very important for the hospital you just get very dry and crusty and i already am dry and crusty just because of the season my skin gets so dry in the winter so very important to bring some sort of lotion but this will be enough for my one shower that i'll probably take there because probably be there less than 24 hours and then if patrick wants to you know he can use this as well and then just our little tiny mini toothpaste as far as clothing i will most likely be in the hospital like diapers or whatever they give you after you have a baby but if i do want to wear my own underwear yeah. i did just bring a couple pairs of my own stretchy comfy wide crotch underwear so that I can comfortably wear a pad and stuff and then I have some nursing bras these are essential for me 
My favorite ones are the like sleeping nursing bras. They just look like this. It might be hard to see black on black. They just crisscross in the front and you can easily just open them up and whip a boob out to nurse. These are my favorite ones. I get these off of Amazon. I will have these linked below. These are all from Hazel. I did not buy any new nursing stuff because I had held on to all this stuff. And then I have one of these nursing bras with a clasp. This is mostly for when we go home. Or maybe if I just want a little bit more support or something. I just have one of these as well for an option. Two comfy shirts packed in case I do want to be in a shirt. One is maternity. This one, I actually got this as a gift uh, for Christmas from Patrick's sister. It says I run a girl gang. Very fitting. I'm bringing some stretchy biker maternity shorts in case I want to wear a pair of shorts. You never know. I just want to have this stuff in case I want it. I have one pair of comfy pajama pants. I'm pretty sure I brought those to the hospital when I had Hazel. Another pair of comfy thin pants, just in case. And then I have my going home outfit. I remember when I was, thank you. I remember when I was packing my hospital bag for my first, I, I thought about my going home outfit so much and I made such a big deal out of it, which I get it, like first time mom, you know. You're just excited, but I just have underwear, a clasp nursing bra, tank top, a gray maternity shirt. This is my favorite shirt. Your belly's still gonna be big after you have a baby. Your uterus needs time to shrink down, so you want to probably pack maternity clothes or just loose fitting clothes so that you're comfortable. And then just some stretchy, flared uh, Walmart pants. These are like my favorite pants to wear in pregnancy and just in general. I have this cheetah pair on right now. Super inexpensive at Walmart. And they're the best pants ever. So this is my going home outfit from the hospital. And then I also have a couple pair of socks packed in case I wanna wear socks. I also have in here some nipple cream. This is Bella B Nipple Nurture butter in the past i've always used the lantano i think is how it's pronounced lanolin but i've kind of changed my lifestyle a little bit actually a lot in the products i use and stuff so this is a plant-based healing and protection it doesn't have petroleum lanolin or parabens it's hypoallergenic and it's safe for baby you don't have to wipe it off or anything and it's made with organic ingredients i got this on amazon i've actually tried this out a couple times already because i do have um like dryness right now in pregnancy and it's been really nice so i definitely recommend this i can't really tell the difference between just like lanolin and that if anything i think that is probably a little bit better another thing i have here this is new to me i've never used this but it was highly suggested and this has amazing reviews on amazon like I said, I'm terrified of the postpartum cramps. Like I'm really terrified. I'm trying to do everything in my power to make it easier and not be miserable and suffer through this. So these are the Wish Garden Herbal Remedies After Ease Drops. They're basically just like these herbs made into a mix and you take these drops and you use two to four droppers in water or I think you can just directly eat them and these are supposed to really really help with those cramps after you give birth like the reviews were amazing when I went through them and I had people personally recommend them to me as well so we shall see if these work I researched the ingredients and all of them are safe and fine to use while breastfeeding as well okay that is all I have in my hospital bag for myself, just things to keep me comfy while I am in the hospital, which hopefully is not for long. And then as far as the baby, this is the bag I have packed with the baby stuff. I wanted to just throw the baby stuff in this bag, but unfortunately it's just not gonna fit. This was like a tote from Bath and Body Works <laughs> like a few years back. It's a really nice bag though to use. 
So for the baby, we just have a nice soft swaddle blanket. This is the Posh Peanut Swaddle. They have really nice stuff. It is 95% viscose from bamboo and 5% uh, spandex. So these are really nice. Way better, softer, comfier than the receiving blankets they give you at the hospital. Definitely don't need that, but it's just a preference. And then I have this cute swaddle. It just has flowers on it. My sister actually gave me this and it comes with a matching bow. This would be cute for like a little picture, just for fun. As far as clothing in the hospital, it's completely up to you what you want your baby to like wear or be in, you know, whatever. But I have just a couple different options. I definitely would recommend gowns or zip up sleepers just to make your life easier if you are wanting to, you know, have your baby be dressed or change outfits often. But I just have this really nice gown. This is from Aiden and Anais. It is so soft and comfy and cute. And then it comes with this little matching hat. I just have three white newborn onesies to go underneath of these clothing pieces. This is from Copper Pearl. These are all from my sister. She gave these to me. It's just another gown. This one ties up at the end. Like you can tie it up or leave it undone, whatever. This is also very nice quality, very nice. and soft and then I have this cute little outfit probably for like a picture or something I'm not sure but it just comes with these pants and then this cute this very cute little onesie I have lots of different bow options mostly just for picture opportunities I have a white bow I was very indecisive I have this blue bow I have this navy bow and then I have this more like decorative one I'm not sure it's really just for some pictures I'll probably take of her and then I'll just <laughs> take them off most likely I don't know we'll see I have a couple pair of socks so her feet are nice and warm this is an announcement sign I just bought this off of Amazon it says hello world name date time height and weight I will go ahead and link that down below is fairly inexpensive compared to all the other ones out there. These name signs are very expensive for whatever reason. I have a little bamboo baby brush. Also got this off of Amazon. I showed it in my last vlog. Very nice quality in case she is born with hair. Very unlikely. Some passies packed. I have them in this bag. I just don't want them to get gross since I already cleaned them and stuff. But I have two different kinds. I have the uh, event, I think is, or is it event? Yeah, the event one, and then this like Ryan and Rose one, and a passy clip in there for some passy options. And then her little going home outfit that I decided on, just something cozy and warm. We have a white onesie to go underneath, this very cute zip up sleeper, and it also has the option for mittens as well which I like that in the newborn clothing so don't scratch yourself or just to keep their little hands warm. And then this is hilarious. <laughs> I just brought this because I don't know what the temperature will be. Obviously we're gonna have a blanket and she'll have a car seat, canopy and all that, but just in case, I have this cute little newborn jacket. It is very thin so it can be worn in the car seat. And this will just add an extra layer of warmth in case it's like freezing cold outside and then just this little pink knit hat my sister actually gave this to me i didn't have any like newborn hats so this is a good one to keep her little probably bald head warm i packed this one this one was gifted to me from patrick's sister it has like this nice minky side and then it's this really cute floral pattern and this is also very nice and soft I might bring a little bit of a thicker blanket. I am not bringing any of my own pads or uh, diapers or wipes. Like they give you that stuff. It's almost always like unscented wipes and just like pampers or huggies, which is fine. We'll use whatever diapers we have at home when we get home. But for the hospital and leaving, they provide you with that stuff. They also provide you with like passies and 
what else do they give you sometimes like they have baby brushes and they have clothes that your baby can wear while you're there it's just a personal preference but this is just what I'm bringing for my third baby I hope you guys enjoyed this oh you got your shoes let's put them on putting Hazel's shoes on right now she brought them to me but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope I was able to help you out if you're stuck on what to pack for your hospital bag some of this stuff probably is not necessary but other stuff is it definitely just depends on you and your preference and what you like and what you need thank you guys for watching this video go ahead and subscribe to me if you're not already and I will see you all in my next video bye